Hi guys, because I goofed up the song, I'm going to not do the whole sermon again. I'm just going to do the song again so that um, you can hear it and be blessed by it and, and all that stuff. Okay, so here is Flawless by Mercy Me. So it goes like this. There's got to be more than going back and forth from doing right to doing wrong. Cause we're taught that's who we are. So get in line right behind me. You along with everybody. Think of this world, think of what you do. Then like a hero who takes the stage when we're at the edge of our seat saying it's too late. Well, let me introduce you to amazing grace. No matter the bumps, no matter the bruises, no matter the scars, Still the truth is the cross has made, the cross has made you flawless. No matter the hurt or how deep the wound is, no matter the pain, still the truth is the cross has made, the cross has made you flawless. Could it possibly be? We simply can't believe that this unconditional, that this unconditional kind of love can be enough to take a filthy wretch like this, wrap her up in righteousness. But that's exactly what he did. No matter the bumps, no matter the bruises, no matter the scars. Still the truth is the cross has made, the cross has made you flawless. No matter the hurt or how deep the wound is, no matter the pain, still the truth is the cross has made, the cross has made you flawless. Take a deep breath, smile, and say because. Right. Okay. Take a deep breath, smile, and say right here, right now, I'm okay because the cross was enough. I'm like a hero who takes the stage when we're at the edge of our feet, saying it's too late. Well, let me introduce you to grace, grace, God's grace. No matter the bumps, no matter the bruises, no matter the scars, still the truth is the cross has made, the cross has made you flawless. No matter the hurt, or how deep the wound is, no matter the pain, still the truth is the cross has made, the cross has made you flawless. So guys, that's the song. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I'm not the best singer, but you get the idea. Um, so whatever you're going through i just want you to know that whatever flaws you have and whatever um and whatever issues you you're having the cross has made it null and void which means it doesn't matter anymore it's still around it still can teach you things but it doesn't have to control your life a lot of people have let things from their past, things they did or things they said or people they hurt, control them. 
and the Lord is saying, all that, all that you think you did wrong, all your flaws, because I went to the cross, because I became sin for you, the cross made it null and void, which means it still exists, but it doesn't control you. Like I said in the first video, too many people are contr controlled by their past and God really wants people to embrace and absorb the freedom he's been called to give them. So give the Lord a chance a day and I'll tell you that you won't regret it. He'll change your life. He'll come in. It won't always be easy because nothing worth it is ever easy but it will be just the light of your life. Being a Christian is the most amazing journey that you will ever be on. It's the most relation, it's the most amazing relationship that you will ever have in your life. So ask him in your own words today to come into your life and clean you up. Even if you think you're at a good place in your life, ask him to come into your life and clean you up. I'll be praying for you. God bless. Bye.